Hi guys, this is Larry up in Brandon, Minnesota. We are going to build an incredible pop bottle garden, okay? Unbelievable pop bottle grow system garden. And here's what we're going to do. You want to start with some pop bottles. And this initial system I'm going to build is going to have six pop bottles. And we can make it larger, you can make it smaller, you can use different designs. But once you understand the fundamentals of how I'm going to do this, then you'll be able to easily expand it to any size you want, okay? First of all, we've got to prepare our pop bottles. They're going to be done a specific way, okay? We're going to take the pop bottles, take the labels off, if you got a little bit of this left over, okay, see that? What I found, and I've tried almost everything, you can try what you want, was paint thinner. My, my buddy and us, we played around with everything from peanut butter to WD-40 to everything. Paint thinner seemed to work the best. We wet a rag and we laid it on there for a few minutes and then we could clean it up, okay? Anyway, I just wanted to prep this for you let you know. Then what I found, I was going to stick this on a stick. My wife came up with this ingenious idea, and this works better than that because the bottom part of this pop bottle we do not want painted. We want to go up about four, four and a half inches, and when I get to that part, you'll you'll understand why. So we just want to paint from that part up. So she's got, of course, a great value. <laughs> I know I'm gonna eat crap about this again. Uh, a great value cottage cheese large curd container. Okay, well, you could use anything. Uh, and it fits just perfectly up about four and a half inches, okay? Now you've got something where you can put a little rocks in there. Now I'm going to paint this thing, and then the bottom won't be painted. Then it'll be perfectly prepped. Then we'll continue with what we're going to do to modify this pop bottle to really make it slick, okay? I'm going to paint it, and I'll be back. Okay, now when you're painting this, the most important part to paint, you don't have to worry so much about this top part because we're going to cut that off because that's where we're going to put our potting mix in. This bottom part is going to be hidden in our container that we're going to build. Well, we're not going to build, we're going to use, but you can build one too. You'll understand more when we get to that part. But this is the part that's the most important. This is where the sun is going to be uh, showing and stuff, and that's going to protect your roots and protect the bottle from deteriorating, okay? That's the reason we're painting them. And because it looks pretty. Anyway, I just want to let you know, so you don't have to waste a whole lot of paint on top, which, like I did, or the bottom, because that's going to be submerged. But just around here is the most important. We're going to let this dry. When I get them all painted, I'll be back, and we'll do the next step, okay? Okay, here's another little trick, too. Like I was saying, you don't have to paint this much on top. Well, if you just barely, if you don't paint that, then you can take this out while it's still wet, Go over here, I got a stick stuck in a bucket here. There you go, just let it dry. Put another one on there. Work slick, only need one container. Okay guys, now that we have our bottles prepared, this is the container we're gonna use, okay? Like I said, it can be larger, it can be smaller. This is just one that's gonna, I'm gonna have a hole, I'm gonna drill a hole in each one of these. It'll easily hold six pop bottles, very easily, okay? This is a Sterilite. I got it at Fleet Farm here. I know they're nationwide Sterilite. It is a 28 quart. The dimensions are 23 inches long, 16 and a quarter inches wide, and 6 inches deep, okay? Well, I'm going to spray paint the bottom to keep algae out with this, because I just thought this would be a nice contrast to that green, okay? Now you don't have to do that. You could lay some black plastic or opaque white plastic in there to keep so you wouldn't have any algae color because this is, there's gonna water is gonna be maintained in the bottom of this. But I just thought it'd be easier, it might look really sharp. I'm just gonna spray paint it, okay? Now, if you find a nice container that'll work that's opaque, already colored, then you don't have to you can bypass that. But if you look around, I think I paid four bucks, five bucks for this paint. Of course, I want a little more. It's textured plastic. You can get it. I've seen it the cheapest. I think Walmart's got it for a buck ninety-nine, two and a quarter, something like that, for plastic paint that is meant just for direct to plastic paint. You see, no primer needed. Blah blah blah. It's ready to go. I'm gonna paint this, and I'll be back. Another little trick, too. After I'm running around the yard looking for sticks and stuff to hang these on, duh! I looked over, and I got a whole bunch of tomato cages. Flip them upside down, that takes care of three of them right there. 
So if you happen to have some laying around, there's an easy one for you. Okay guys, here is the next step. Okay, I painted that bottom of that clear plastic one with this and just covered it. Beautiful. Now here we got the lid, which is opaque, so I don't have to worry about spraying it. I mean, you could if you wanted, maybe you'd give it a little more protection, but, I, but we have to drill the holes. This container is going to con hold those pop bottles upside down, and we'll get to it. You'll see. Are you getting it yet? You'll get it. Okay, we're going to have to drill these holes. A pop bottle is four and a quarter inch diameter. How do I know? Because I got hole saws four and a quarter. Did I cheat? Well, I'm going to build a lot of them, okay? I'm going to build a lot of them because you can build this for under $10. And I figure for that price, I'm going to spend, I think this cost me with the Arbor. Look around. You can buy it with the Arbor. This one is by Morris. I got it for like 24 bucks. Okay. To me, that's worth it because I can build a lot of these. I'm going to plant uh, strawberries in them. I'm going to plant them to give herbs to give people. I, and I just want to try them out, get the word out. Anyway, I just thought for old folks home, other people, I know people can't get out. This is going to be slick. When you see, we ain't even there yet. But when you see what you can do with this thing, you're going to be impressed. Anyway, so what I did is we measured, my, me and my buddy, we did a couple, he took his calipers, we measured, measured across the calipers, and it comes out to four and a quarter inches. I went and got this, we drilled out the bottom of a, well, you can see it broke because it was flimsy, the bottom of a, a milk ice cream jug, just so we could have a template. And what I did is, here's what I did. Now, if you get the same container, back it up, you can see the container I got for this. Oh, I can even put a link for it at the bottom in the description, okay? I measured out an inch from here, and an inch from here, and an inch and all the way around, and then I drew a line, and then I centered it between, and then I had this hole, because I drilled this template. Now, you can do this with a jigsaw, too. Just make, what would be slick is if, make it easy for you, is, is take a compass or something, make yourself a nice template, and make a hole in the middle, and then you can measure it out an equal. Like I said, this will hold one, two, three, four, five, six comfortably. Then you'll see what I'm going to do. When I get it all done and the pop bottle's done, we'll go on. Then you'll see the whole thing. There's three different ways you can operate this. It's going to be interesting. I'll be back after I drill these holes. Okay, I didn't drill them all yet, but I just wanted to tell you this quick. If you do get a hole saw and decide to go that way, what really works slick is just barely get your drill bit, your pilot bit, that goes in the middle of this uh, hole saw. Just barely get it started and stop and run it in reverse and push down. You get a nice smooth cutting, it won't rip it, no nothing. You want to do it in reverse. If you go forward, it'll jab in. So if you cut it in reverse, you'll get a nice smooth cut. I'm going to finish these up. Okay, I finished drilling the holes in the top for the six pop bottles, okay? I got them, they're dry, I got three more, more over there. Now we're going to, this is where the magic happens. I'm going to take the pop bottles and I'll show you what we're going to do to them They're using this container that's going to really make this thing cool. I'll be back. All right. Now that we've prepped these bottles, we painted them, where we put them in there so we didn't paint the bottom half and it's all dry and ready to go. What I'm going to use, and they're slick, you can go like to Walmart in the automotive department. These got these little straight soldering irons. They're like $6.99 or something. It really works like you can take a nail and heat it up over your stove where you could use a blowtorch on it or do something like that. Or even maybe drill. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the threaded part, this part here. Let me see if I can get a better shot. Right here, I'm going to melt and put three holes all the way around. And I'll do that and I'll be... Alright, that worked absolutely perfect. I put three, and you'll see why in a minute. Now, because this bottle is going to be inverted, and the top, this bottom is going to be cut off, when it rains, this unit can be outside, and it's going to rain, you want the water so it don't flood in here. We're going to put, right about the bottom of this, we're going to put a hole, three or four holes all the way around. That way, excess water can fall into the container, and it won't drown the roots of the plant, okay? So I'm going to put those in. I'll be back. 
Okay, now I put the holes in there. I put four holes all the way up, about four and a half inches, okay? That's it, when we cut this, and then we're gonna cut this off. But we're gonna do one more prep on this part, and I'll be back and show you. Okay, folks, this is where the magic is. What we're gonna do, we got these three holes in this little threaded part. And you see this little lip that's behind that little collar when you take the cap off? We're gonna turn this into a baby net cup. Here's how it's gonna work. If you don't wanna go out and buy some landscape fabric, you can take a Walmart bag and cut it up a piece about five inches by five inches, okay? We're gonna take this, we're gonna put it over. And then underneath this lip, we're gonna take a little zip tie and zip tie it. I'll finish it and be back and show you. Okay, now we have our little baby net cup. We have not only the bottom, which will rest in the bottom on the, on the bottom of the unit where there's water, but just to ensure that water can still get to the potting mix, we, we put a hole here, here, and here, three around there, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim that up. There's our overflow holes right there. We're gonna cut right along this edge I'm gonna cut. So that's your guiding line, and we're gonna fill it with potting mix. Okay, so I'm gonna get this all trimmed up, get them all done, and then I'll show you the next step, okay? Oh, and another thing, by the way, these little cable ties that I'm using, they're six inch. 100 of them in the package. I got them out here at uh, Menards. I think they were like 269 or something like that. Pretty cheap. A few more of these to go, but this is gonna work slick. I'll be back. Okay, the only thing left on the pot bottle now to prep it. We got our holes there for drainage. We got a little net cup that we made. Now we need to cut this off. And there's kind of an edge all the way around here. That's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna start it with this and then finish it with the scissors. I'll give her a whirl and I'll be back. Okay, that worked pretty dang slick. If you just get it started with that straight edge and then finish it with the scissors, you can get a pretty good job. I'm gonna finish all these up, then we're gonna be ready to plant. And then you're gonna see what it looks like all put together. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, a couple of final few things we gotta do here yet. This bottom container now, what we wanna do is we wanna measure up two inches off the bottom, okay? And we're gonna drill, I got a three eighths inch little drill bit, just for an overflow, okay? now. You can just leave that. I'll probably just leave that. But if you want to really dress it up and you had it sitting on a balcony or somewhere and you didn't want the water drizzling out, find a little, uh, uh, you know, one of those little threaded by barbed angles. You can find that you screw in. I'd make the hole just big enough to screw that in. You can run a little piece of plastic hose down. And you could even catch any water if you wanted to reuse it and do it that way or have it run out of sight so people didn't see it. But that's one idea. Anyway, I'm going to drill that hole. And then we'll step on to the next phase, okay? Be back. All right, now we're gonna take a piece of pipe, one inch PVC, one inch thick PVC, and we're gonna drill a one and a quarter inch hole in this. What you're gonna do at one end, you're gonna slant this so that when it goes down, it won't set flush on the bottom, but when you pour water in, it can go in, okay? And that's gonna fit nice and snug beautiful. Now that's just one facet of it. There's going to be three different ways to water this system when I get done and I'll show you. But, but just write this down what you got. You got to drill a one and a quarter inch hole in the lid for that and you use one inch pipe. You can use, uh, if you got some other size pipe, go ahead and put in what you got. I'm just saying for one inch pipe, a one and a quarter inch drill bit you can either use a flat style drill bit. I just happen to have the other one. I got to go from an eighth to a one and a half. I don't have a quarter in that kind. So I did have one of these in a hole saw. So that's why I did it. But we're just about done. Hang in there. Okay, now on the other end of where we had that stamp pipe, you can always switch the lid around. Right here at the top, we're going to put a hole for a float. Okay, that's one other option you're going to have. And you're going to use, you're going to use, either use the barbed fitting, or if you're just going to hook up one you want the garden hose fitting, use this. This has a half inch uh, male thread. 
can go to Ace Hardware or Home Depot if you even got them cheaper plastic ones. That goes, that threads right on there and there's your garden hose fitting, okay? Holds the dap swivel right at Ace Hardware, okay? I'm going to drill a 7 8 inch hole that they will work for this perfect. And I'm going to mount it as high as I can. That way I got plenty to, I got plenty to work with. Adjust because I want to adjust the water level just below that. Okay? So I got to drill that hole. Be back. Okay, I've mounted that float. Now see, this is adjustable. So you can adjust it anywhere you want. We want to, we're going to maintain it right below there. So it's adjustable. So that's all in. But make sure when you put it in the back here, remember you got a lip there, so you want to make sure your nut, you're not so high you can't screw your nut down, okay? And then we got this adapter. You want to do is put a little Teflon tape on it, a little pipe go, and this is going to screw right on there, see? See? And there's your garden hose fitting. Slick, huh? Okay. Now we've got the standpipe, we got that. Okay, we're going to finish it up, and I'm going to show you the completed unit, how you can water it three different ways. I'll be back. Okay, now one of the water sources we're going to use is going to be a pop bottle, another pop bottle to feed the other five, okay? So we're going to take another pop bottle. We're not going to do anything other than what I did is I painted it, but I put a piece of masking tape here. Why? You see. Hold on a second. So, that when you fill it with water, I put a hole in the side about the size of a pencil, down about, from the top here, about an inch, inch and three quarters, just below that two inch overflow hole in the bottom of the tub that we're going to put this in, right? So we're going to fill this with water, hold our finger on there and flip this whole thing upside and drop it in and it's going to go glug, 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 just like a chicken, Peter, and stop. But what's going to be slick is you turn this so it's if the sun's that way towards the tree there, then aim this towards you. That way you're not going to get algae in there, but you'll still be able to see the water level, huh? Pretty slick, huh? I'll show you how it's going to work. Hold on. Okay, now we filled this bottle, and I got that hole, and I filled it. I'm holding my finger over this. Okay, watch this, Mark. I'm going to stick it in this container. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. The water's going to come out of this. Okay. No water ain't coming out of it. Should be. Stop it. Okay, what I ended up doing is putting a hole on either side here, about the size of a pencil. See a hole there and a hole there to create a better vacuum. So we flip this upside down. Watch now. The water will go down. See it? Blub, blub, blub. See? And what it'll do is it'll find its own level which is at that level. And that way you can see the water level in there too. It's, it's going down to that water level to help it along here a little bit. But you'll see, see it? And once it gets to that level, it's gonna stop. Just keep watching it here. Once it reaches the level, what you wanna do is fill the tub with water first while it's coming out the overflow, and then do this because then you don't have to, you know, you have a full bottle that you'll be starting with once the tub is full. It should stop. One, to get to the right level there. If the dish is deep enough, which I think it is. Yep, there we go. You can shut her. Okay, folks, here it is. The completed, super over-the-top, <laughs> automatic, self-watering, do it three different ways, automatic pop bottle watering garden, okay? Here it is, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't get a chance to plant it. It's getting late in the day, Memorial Day. I want to eat something yet, but I want to get this done. I'll plant it tomorrow and do a follow-up video, okay? What you want to do when you're going to plant here, and then I'll explain what you do with that. You take these, you've created a net, net cup at the bottom. By doing that, if you go back to the video here, you've got the overflow, what you want to do is put some potting mix. I would start with some wet potting mix. Mix up a little potting mix, put it in a, in a little bucket or bowl and mix it up and then push it under and pack it in tight and then go ahead and fill it up. When you've got to the top, fill it, run water. You don't have to do it in there, but hold it over. Put some water in it until it starts dripping out the bottom. That way you know you got the capillary action going and you'll be all set to go. Okay? Three different ways to water this. 
Remember, there's an overflow up two inches on the back here, okay? Fill it with water until it comes out of there. Then you can take one way of wiring it. You don't have to have this stand pipe and you don't have to go that route. You take a pop bottle, like I've shown you, so you can see it. You fill it up with water. Let's say away from me is the sun, so you're going to have it to the side. You fill it up with water. It has two holes about the size of a pencil, an inch and a half down. You're going to fill it with water. You're going to flip it over after this is all ready to the full. And you're going to put it in there. You do not need this. You do not need the flow. That will water the other five. Number one, that's one way. Number two way to water this. Use all six of these. Fill this like an earth box with water until it runs out of there. Periodically, you would put water in there. If you wanted to get fancy, you could take a little round styrofoam ball with a stick, put another one at the top, it would stick up here, and when it's low and hit here, you'd know it was time to water it. Number three, if you really want to do it automatic, let's see if I can get the top off here, you mount a float in it. And you mount the float up in the top part here, okay? You're going to adjust this float. I'm going to adjust it so it's just below that level. Here's your hookup. Here's the little adapter I showed you. Okay? Hook up your garden hose in your business. Plant it. Forget it. Never touch it again. There it is, folks. I know a lot of people have been waiting to see this, and uh, I can't wait to get it planted. But uh, happy Memorial Day to all you out there. Very happy to you all. And... Uh, I want to thank all you people. Uh, I have some of the absolute greatest YouTube subscribers, the greatest fans on uh, Soul Watering Rain Gutter group page and my regular page. I want to thank you all. And if I can help you in any way to grow something and have some fun, I had a ball putting this together. I've been thinking about this all winter at work at nights, how I could design it so that I want to make it as simple yet, but I want to make it so it's going to last. But I want to make it, in so if you just want to do it with a pop bottle of water, you can. If you want to just fill it manually, that's fine. Some people want to come out every day and do it. If you want to be gone, but you want a nice herb garden, or you can put strawberries in here. Or I think because you are using the whole bottle. This is what's slick about it. Here's what I want. I've seen a lot of them where they cut these in half, and I didn't like that. You wasted the medium. This way you get to use the majority of the bottom bottle for potting mix which allows you to grow a bigger plant. Now I'm going to try growing even a pepper plant here. I don't think a tomato plant, unless you have like a tiny Tim or, or some very small patio determinant, I might even try one just for the heck of it. Lettuce would be fantastic in this. Uh, I think green peppers, onions, radishes. Um, I think you could, uh, all your herbs, you know, play around and, uh, you know, and try some different things. I'll, like I said, I'm going to plant it. I'm going to do some variations. I'll, I'll do a bunch of these. I'll probably build up a bunch of these. I want to give some away as gifts to people. I think they're so slick because you can, I don't care if you're on the 10th Street skyscraper in New York City, you can have one of these sitting on your patio, okay? And, and it's going to be slick. I hope you enjoyed this. Happy Memorial Day to all of you. Go out and build one of these. If you have any questions, I'll try to help you any way I can. I know it's a lot to remember. Go back through the video step by step. Write it down if you have to. And uh, I'll keep following up and you'll get it down. But it'll be fun when you got one of these done. Okay? This is Larry up in Brainerd, Minnesota. God bless you all. Good day.